He's like, sounds so strict. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're gonna go two rounds, kind of like we did, I think, on Monday. Um, we're gonna go two rounds and we're gonna go above our knees. We're gonna go banded bridge, so we're gonna be on our back. And then we're going to do 10 fire hydrants. So you guys know these, now I'm gonna show you really fast quick. So right here, we're gonna go 10 bridge, right? Nice little stretch. And then we're gonna go 10. Oh, look, it's Aaron, Aaron beat it. And then we're gonna go 10 hydrants, okay? Morning, Aaron. So we're, I'm just demos, showing demos. So we're gonna go two rounds, 10 bridge, and then 10 by 10 hydrants. Once you get through two rounds of that, you can take your band off. And then we're going to do five, five down dogs and come forward to push up. If you want a cobra, you can add that cobra. That's up to you, okay? So five down dogs to push up. And then we're gonna come to a tabletop and we're gonna go five by five bird dogs, okay? And then back to five push up, down dog to push up, and five bird dogs. Okay, so start with your band. Erin, I'm gonna mute you, but we're gonna start two rounds. So two rounds with your band, and then two rounds of five down dog to push up, and five by five bird dogs. So let's move. Good morning, good morning, everyone. So 10 bridges, 10 migrants. Hello glutes, if you feel those from Monday. I was super sore. I am a little still sore. Anybody else super, super sore for Monday and get it pointed out to you with the booty band? Yeah, that's where I'm at today. <laughs> All right, five down dog to push up and then five by five dirt bird dog. Make sure in your bird dog, you're lengthening your hand forward, flexing your toe back, finding a nice line, best you can.
Okay. Terry just looked like she's finishing up. Okay, friends. So you can listen if you're just finishing up the last little end of what you got for a warm up. So this week, at least the first beginning of the week, has been a little bit more strength based because it's really hot out, right? So, and that still like comes into our home too. So let's focus. We're focusing a little bit more on strength. So if you have a little bit heavier weight, you can totally use that. So what are we doing? We're going to do a 12 minute AMRAP. And we're going to go 10 tempo deadlifts. If you have heavier weight, you don't need to tempo it. So Andy, if you want to put weight on your barbell and you don't want to tempo, you don't have to, okay? So if you have a heavier weight, that's something a little bit more challenging than you would normally use, then you do not have to tempo. Otherwise, if you have a lighter weight, medium weight, I want you to tempo. So that's, I'll demo that in a minute. So we're going to go 10 tempo deadlifts, 10 dumbbell rows, and eight plank drags. So if you got a heavier weight, right? So here's my heavier weight. I don't need to tempo this one. I can be right here, shoulders back, butt squeeze, ribs in, and I can be right here. Now, if I was going to use a lighter weight, like my 26, I'm gonna tempo this. So I'm gonna do all the same things I would do. I'm gonna go three, two, one. I might touch the ground, I might not, I am not. And then I'm gonna hold for a second at the bottom and come back up. So three, two, one, hold, back to the top. Three, two, one, hold, back to the top. So if you adjust depending on what weight you have. Then we're gonna do 10 dumbbell rows. So we're gonna be right here, kicking the hip back, shoulders back, 10 rows, okay? Andy, since you got a barbell, if you wanna go deadlifts and you wanna do underhand rows, you can, or you can use um, dumbbells, that's fine. Last thing you got is eight per side plank drives. So you can be in a solid plank position, you can be knee down. I want you to keep your hips as square as you can to the ground. You'll transfer your weight and you'll reach across. So opposite hand reaches across. You have eight of those, okay? So 10 deadlifts or 10 tempo deadlifts, 10 rows, and eight plank drives per side. Are we ready? I think we're ready. If you got questions, let me know. But I'm gonna set a timer for 12 minutes. Hi, Erin, good to see you. And I saw you yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna give a 12 minutes, jam some tunes if you want. 10 deadlifts, 10 of them if you need, if you're not gonna have enough weight. 10 rows and eight plank drives. All right, guys, happy Wednesday. My kids got one more day of school if you St. Paulers got lucky. <laughs> well, maybe. Your kids are done early. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. Ten tempo deadlifts. Nice, Andy. If you got heavier weight, like I said, you don't need to tempo. If you got lighter weight, I want you to think three, two, one one slow hold it bring it back up you got a heavier bow or a bar or a weight then you don't need to tempo it Eight plank drags.
Nice, Tara. Nice, slow and tempoed. There you go, Aaron. Two Aaron's, I had two Aaron's in here today. Aaron's like, it's like thing one and thing two. <laughs> nice, guys. Remember, if you got that heavier weight, don't need to tempo. If you don't have heavier weight, I want you to tempo. So I want you to think about, start at the top, you go three, two, one, hold. Back up. Three, two, one, hold. Back up. Now, if you have heavier weight and you want to tempo it as well, whoo, this is a little bit more challenging. And it'll make you hot and sweaty really quick. Nice, guys. We're going for 12 minutes. So find a pace that works for you. Trying to focus on challenging weights. Now, if you're doing rows, too, make sure your head isn't, your chin isn't to your chest. You want to be looking about, oh, I don't know, five feet in front of you or so. Your gaze of your eyes. To keep your head and neck in line with your spine. Nice, Tara. Nice, Aaron. Nice, Amy. Nice, Andy. Nice, Sedless, Andy. So work your way through. Best form you got on every rep. The next part's a little faster. Nice, Aaron. Aaron's. We both doing the same exercise. <laughs> nice, Amy. So, Amy, I should challenge you a little bit if your back's good and you should switch off and alternate between dumbbells and barbell deadlifts. Because <laughs> I know you can do barbell deadlifts. <laughs> I've seen you do it. up on halfway. This one is not meant to exhaust you. This one's more I want to think either heavier weight or if I got lighter weight I got amazing form. Halfway right there. Thanks, Sandy.
Here you go, Aaron. Nice. Oh, Aaron, this is Aaron too. This is taking you back to the early days, early mornings. Taking boogies early mornings. See, that's still what I like to do. <laughs> but it's good to get it out of the way in the morning. Nice job, you guys. We're just past eight minutes. Going till 12. Nice guys, keep this pace up. under three minutes. Nice, Andy. Nice, Aaron. Nice, Tara. Keep it up, Sandy. I know you're on the drug of plank drags. Nice guys. I'll tell you when you take a medium to heavy weight and you you tempo it, whoo, we get sweaty really fast. We're under two minutes, like a minute and a half, minute twenty. Sweating for this workout. I love the heat and Woo, three. Two, one, nice job. Who am I already sweating? Like seriously, this weather does nothing but makes me sweat. 
Okay. Get my timer up. You're gonna need lighter weights for this. We're doing it every minute on the minute for nine minutes. Okay. So you're gonna watch me quick and figure out what you need. Okay. So every minute on the minute. So most of most of you guys know what these mean. Top of the minute. Minute one. You're gonna go 10 to 12 deadlifts to high pull. So you can do this with dumbbells, you can do it with kettlebells. Um, there's no tempo, okay? 10 to 12 of them. So you actually might be somewhere in the range of 10 to 15, okay? So somewhere in there, this is the movement we're doing. I'll show you with dumbbells too. So I'm gonna deadlift just like I normally deadlift. High pull. So when I come up and get to here, I'm squeezing my booty like no tomorrow. And then I bring it up. So it comes together just like this. Okay. Now I want to show you up close here so you know where this ends. See how I'm like by my collarbone? That's about where you want. You don't want up here. Okay. Keep your shoulders where they're at when you bring this here. Okay. Don't shrug the shoulders up. Now, if you're doing it with dumbbells, I'm just going to grab these. If you're doing it with dumbbells, same thing. Okay. Deadlift, high pull. Deadlift, high pull. So right here is your high pull, okay? So deadlift, high pull. So somewhere between 10 and 15 of those, okay? The rest of that minute is rest. Minute two, you got 10 mountain climbers and 10 bicycles. That's 10 total mountain climbers, okay? So you're gonna think fast, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, ten. And then you're gonna flip over. And you're gonna find your bicycle. 90 degrees of the legs, core's engaged, can't get my hand back there. And we're gonna go 10 by 10, or no, 10 total bicycles, so it's a five by five, okay? Now, one thing I wanna focus on too, make sure you're not interlacing your hands, because if you interlace them, they get stuck. If you have them right here, you can open up a little bit better, okay? So 10 bicycles, 10 mountain climbers, and then 10 total bicycles. Third exercise. Whew. You have either triceps here, right? We've done these. Or you got these puppies right here, okay? If you wanted to do a skull crusher, if you have a bench, those look like this. Just like this. So you can do a skull crusher this way, or you can also do dips, okay? So it's in every minute on the minute. Your rest time, and it's three rounds, okay? You guys ready to rock? Now, remember, if you need to adjust reps, adjust reps. So if you're like, oh my goodness, I'm only working for 15 seconds of that minute, you need to add some reps. Your goal is to be working for 25, 40 seconds of that minute. All right, guys, deadlifts to high pull. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Here we go. You want these to be somewhat fast. Make sure to squeeze your butt at the top. I think I'm going to 15. I hit 15 and we're at the 30 second mark. Right there. So you're working until at least the 30 second mark, 40 second mark. So anywhere right around here is your rep number. We're going to the mat. We got 10 mountain climbers, 10 bicycles, total. 10 seconds. If you need to add reps, you add reps to either exercise. Here we go, 10 mountain climbers, 10 bicycles. Should be 20 mountain climbers. <laughs> So make those bicycles amazing. 
because you have the time to. Halfway there. And then triceps. So skull crushers, extensions, dips, whatever works for you. You can switch it up each round if you want. I'm gonna go. Just pulling all my weights out today. Here we go. You got 10 of these. So if you got a heavier weight, Awesome. If you don't, you might be going 10 to 15 reps. Just kind of depends on what you got. Because I'm only on rep four. Halfway there. Now we rest and we're back at the top again. So deadlift to high pull. And for reference, I'm using a 26 pound kettlebell and a 20 pound dumbbell. 10 seconds. So deadlift, high pull. Squeeze your booty as you pull that weight up to your chest. Here we go, I got 15 last time. Feel this in glutes and hamstrings. Shoulders and back stays braced and engaged. Halfway there. Nice, guys. Nice, and we go to the mat. Ten fast mountain climbers, five by five slow bicycles. <laughs> Think it should be the opposite, shouldn't you? To be slow mountain climbers and fast bicycles. Here we go. Keep your chest open so you can breathe on those bicycles. Leg that extends doesn't touch the ground. Halfway there. Whoo, triceps are next. Who's sweaty, man? I'm sweaty. 15 seconds. Then we just got one more round. We're doing a five minute AM wrap and a finisher. We got all sorts of fun things today. Here we go. Just mixing it up with all sorts of stuff. But it's super hot. I'm sure you noticed how hot easy it was for you to warm up. As far as like, whoo, all of a sudden you're like, I'm sweating. Even if you got your air on. That's my kids. They were like, mom, why are you sweating so bad? And I'm like, they're like, you're in the coolest room in the house. I think it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter, I'm so hot and sweaty and it gets humid. It's just that awesome heat in Minnesota. Follows you everywhere. Okay, we got one more round. We're going deadlift to high pull. And then we're going to do a five minute AMRAP with two exercises that you're going to get through a lot of because reps are low. And then a finisher. But the finisher might be a little cut, I might cut around. Here we go. Last round of deadlift to high pull. So think deadlift, ready to that high pull. Squeeze your butt.
20 seconds in. Way there. Yeah, we just kind of combined that deadlift in that row that we did earlier with the strength workout. What am I doing? It's mountain climbing first. <laughs> I'm getting ready to start bicycles. <laughs> Here we go. Five seconds. Last round of these. Nice job, you guys. Halfway there. Triceps. And we're calling this one, we're calling this part finished. After this round, last round right here, triceps in 10. Ooh, I'm already just hot and sweaty and gross. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one, triceps. Last round. Last round. Nice, guys. Terry, you're almost matching weights. Oh my goodness. She's so close. I love it. Keep breathing, 20 seconds in. Nice, Aaron. Nice, Sandy. Nice, Tara. Nice, Amy and Andy. Aaron, number two. Nice job. 30 seconds. Halfway there. Wherever you need to be. Whew. Grab water. And I'll explain this next part. Nice job, you guys. Whew, I know, all these, we're doing all these little things. And then it's like, before you know, we've done like a half hour or so of work. All right, so you're going to let my timer run out. This is what we're doing. I think last time we did this, Sandy had to remind me because I totally missed this part. So this is a little different than we've done before. So we're going to go five-minute AMRAP. And we're going five by five lift and chops, okay? And three plank walkouts. Just three, reps are low, okay? So what are we doing? We're doing this. We're gonna be half kneeling. You got your dumbbell, okay? I hold it by the ends. I'm squeezing my booty like no tomorrow, right? I'm going hip to like side of my head, okay? If you use a challenging enough weight, you'll feel this here and you'll want to overextend, but you're gonna squeeze that booty like crazy here to here, okay? Five of them. You'll switch five this side, okay? Then you will do three plank walkouts, just to a plank, so you don't have to do a push-up. Send those heels back, walk it back. You do not have to stand up. If you want to stand up each time, that's up to you, but I'm not requiring it, okay? And then you're back to five by five lift and drop. Lift and chop, walk out. Lift and chop, walk out. Then a finisher. And then we're done. Here we go, guys. Five seconds. Lift and chops, walk outs. I want you to think about being really, really tight in your core and keeping everything nice and engaged. So think hip to side of your head, and you're not bringing it out. Notice how close I keep it to my body. I'm not bringing it way out in front of me. Keep it nice and close. And then three walkouts. And then you're going to do it again. Now, walkouts can be a nice stretch in those hammies if you send those heels back and then walk your hands back.
and then you're back to lifting chops. So you're squeezing your booty like no tomorrow. You're bringing this across. Reps are low, so you're like, whoa, I'm flying through this. We are only in a minute, not even a minute and a half in. So think about that, too. You're like, whoo. So find your breathing. But keep moving the entire time. That's the goal. So we're going to try to keep moving little breaks. If to like not very many to really short. Thanks, guys. And I think our finisher's gonna. I'm adjusting the finisher. See how that happens sometimes? It just happens. It's all good. You guys love when I take reps away or time away. <laughs> Towards the end of a workout anyway. Nice guys. We're over halfway. We're coming up on three minutes. We're going to five. Nice job. Coming up on a minute and a half left. <sighs> nice, guys. One minute. One Thirty seconds. Nice job, Aaron. Keep it up. Nice job, Amy and Andy. Nice job, Sandy. Keep it up, Tara. Fifteen seconds. Adjusting your finisher. Two, three, 20 seconds work instead of 30, okay? I'm gonna get this set up here, you guys. Oh, here we go, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do, instead of 30, 15, we're gonna do 20 work, 10 rest, four rounds, okay? Now you got a choice. You actually have three choices on this first one. What I have programmed, is a hollow hold or here or hollow rock, okay for 20 seconds now 
If that is too much, if this is too much, you're gonna dead bug it. So you're either gonna dead bug or you're gonna do a dead bug hold where you are squeezing, toes are flexed, arms and shoulders are back against that mat I'm shaking, okay? So any one of those three, dead bug, dead bug hold, or four, my bad. Hollow hold, hollow rock, okay? Second exercise, we flip over. Forearm, we're tapping, okay? If tapping is too much, you just hold the plank, okay? You just hold that plank, and we will get back to being able to do taps, okay? If your forearms are really sweaty, which they shouldn't be too bad, you should be good and be able to tap. All right, here we go. Find your home on your back. Where do you want to be? What do you want to do? You got a choice. Here we go. Five seconds. Hollow hold, hollow rock, dead bug. Find what works for you. I'm going to try to hollow rock. Halfway there. Hold, rock, dead bug. Rest. Woo! Terry, nice job on those rocks. I know you've been working on those. So plank taps. Here we go. Forearm plank, tap it forward. Hollow rocks, you guys. Take time to, to get the art of them down. And I wasn't able to do them either when I first learned them. So just know. Don't get mad at yourself. Yes. Or if you're like, oh my gosh, those are really hard. They are really, really challenging. So do that hollow hold. Do that dead button hold. I'm going to hold a hollow hold this time. So throat is open. So I'm not bringing my chin to my chest. My back is on the mat. If I need to, I'm going to bend my knees. My arms are out of my ears. Not close to my head, but out wide. Yes. Rest. Flip it over. Oh, I'm feeling my core. Here we go. Plank tips. Or you hold that plank. Halfway there. Rest, flip it back over. We're almost there, we're halfway. Here we go. Let's go. Maybe you dead bug it, maybe you hollow hold it. Dead bug's here. Dead bug hold is here. Halfway there. Hollow hold, shoulders are off the mat. Rest. Flip it over. You should be feeling your core now. Plank taps. And we got one more round of each exercise. Try to keep those hips as stable as you can. Feet wider. Make this a little bit easier and a more stable base. Rest. We got one more round. One more round. Nice job, you guys. Here we go. Let's go. I tried to holler at this last time. Rest, flip it over. Last plank tap. Here we go. Keep going, 10 seconds. Rest. Whoo! Whoo, that was 
was a good one. You guys did awesome. I'm sweating now. Super sweaty now.